And welcome back, and thank you for joining me for the Photoshop Laddie tip of the week. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a really cool stage lighting effect I saw in a movie advertisement recently. It was a really neat effect, so first thing, on my background layer, I need to fill this with black. So with my foreground color being set to black already, I just need to hit my Alt Backspace or Option Delete to fill that layer with my black. And I'm going to go into my Layers Palette, and we're going to make a new layer right above that one. And going up here, we're going to grab the Elliptical Marquee Tool. And holding down the Shift key to constrain my proportions there, I'm going to just draw a small circle right up here, just anywhere. Now, I want to fill this with white. So with white being set to my background color, all i got to do is hit my Control Backspace or Command Delete and it will fill my background color into my selection there. Now I'm going to keep it as an active selection because what we're going to do here is a step and repeat. I want to repeat this circle several times across the length of the, do the document here and by keeping it as an active selection when I do that it will actually keep it all on one layer. If I deselect that and do the step and repeat it will actually put each step on its own layer and depending on how many you have that can end up with a lot of layers so we don't want to go that route. So keeping it active selection next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit my I'm gonna hold down my alt and control key or option command keys and I'm gonna hit the T key and that will bring up my free transform handles here I wanna drag over until I see the little transform triangle there a little black triangle there I'm gonna click and hold and I'm also gonna hold down my shift key I'm gonna drag over because that holding down my shift key will constrain my left to right there I'm just going to drag this over just a little bit, right about that far, and I'm going to hit enter, because I want to commit that. Now keeping it still as an active selection, and to do their step and repeat, I need to hold down the shift alt control, or shift option command, and just keep hitting the T key while you got those held down until you get as many repeats as you want. I'm going to go about that far. Now just deselect that. Now I want to center this in this area here, so I'm going to go to Command A to con Command or Control A to select that entire area. And activating the Move tool, I'll actually bring up my Align tools here up top. So I'm just going to click the center one, and that'll center that right in there nicely, and deselect that area. Now we're going to do the step and repeat once again on this entire row, except we're going to go down this time a few times. So activating it as a selection, so we can keep it all on the same layer. We're going to do the Alt Control T or Option Command T once again. And holding down the Shift key, we're just going to drag that down right to about there and hit Enter. And once again, Shift Alt Control or Shift Option Command T and then just hit it a couple times. I'm just going to do one more there. Okay, I'll deselect that. Now, in order to make this look like lights, we're going to have to add a glow to it, naturally. So, with that layer active, I'm going to go under my layer styles. We're going to go to Outer Glow. And I want to change this color to kind of a bluish, purplish, kind of a lavender color. Really show up good on the, uh, on the black background there. We'll do that. I'm going to increase the size quite a bit. You can see the flare we're getting out there. Increase that opacity. Now also, we're also going to do an inner glow with pretty much the same color. Probably go a little deeper in the purple on this one. And we don't see it yet because of the blending mode. I'm going to change my blending mode here to multiply. And there you can see kind of what we're going after there. And that actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I want to make this area of lights actually re reflected into the floor of the stage. So in order to do that, just going to duplicate that layer and drag it down roughly to about there, kind of ma making a space in between so it's, you know, so it's pretty distinguishable between the actual lights and the reflection. And on that layer I'm going to drop the opacity just probably down to around, around 70%. Now I want this reflection receding of course into the floor so I'm going to put a layer mask on this so I can mask some of that area out. So I'm just going to click on that new 
new layer mask icon right there. Go over here and get my gradient tool. And from the bottom, I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm just going to drag up right until about there. And you can see it's masking out some of the area. Now it's masking out quite a bit, but you can still see quite a bit of these lights in here. Now that might not be, actually doesn't look all that bad. I'd probably leave it alone. But just so you know, I'll show you this. If you have a layer style applied to a layer and you have a layer mask on it, the layer mask by default does not mask out the layer style itself. It'll only la ma or mask out the elements on your layer. But if you want it, your layer mask to mask out your effects as well, simply go back into your layer styles by double clicking on that icon. And you can go in here right into the main window. Here's all your effects in here. Go to blending options. Right down here you see layer mask hides effects. And just click on that. And you can kind of see the difference you're getting here. It's actually masking out some of that inner glow effect that I put on there. And I'll hit OK. And actually, I'm probably going to drop that opacity down just a little bit more. Just like that. There. Now, all we got to do now is add somebody onto the stage to really sell the effect here. So, I've already got a path drawn of a person dancing here. So, I'm just going to pretty much I'm gonna move that in position there. Scale it just a little bit more down. Like that. And I'm going to activate that as a selection go back in my layers palette. I'm going to make a new layer to put this on. With that selection active, I'm going to fill it with my foreground color, so just Alt, Backspace, or Option Delete, just like that. And I'm going to Command or Control D to deselect it. I'm just going to move this into position, pretty much right about there. Now I'm going to make a copy of this layer, because I need to make the reflection of this person down on the floor, just like I did with the lights. So, on that duplicate layer, all I've got to do here is just go to Transform. Now, you can't see it, it goes off screen, but down here at the very bottom it says Flip Vertical. And it'll do that. I'm just going to drag that down into place there. About like that. Actually, those feet cross over a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of rotate it. Pretty much just like that. There. Now, because she's standing in front of these lights, we'd expect to see a little bit of a halo glow around her coming from those lights. So, to, in order to be able to do that, it's going to add a layer style to that. And we're going to do, actually we're going to do an inner shadow on this one. Because if we do an inner glow, it'll actually put the glow in some parts of the image. We don't really want the glow because there wouldn't be actually be any light there. But the uh, inner shadow will actually give, it, give the light some direction. So, with my inner shadow activated, go in here, and we're going to go into Color Picker, and we're just going to sample the color of this light in here. Kind of get that purple, maybe make it a little bit brighter. Now hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to this blending mode to screen, so it'll really show up, and you can see what we're getting there. Now, it's a little bit much, more than I want it to be, so you can see, even though it's a little too much, you can still see it works, because it's giving a person a little bit of dimension and shape tour so it's not so flat. But I'm going to decrease that effect just a little bit so it's not so harsh. And I'm going to turn off global light because I do not want my light direction changing on any other, other layers I have layer styles on. I'm just going to pretty much set this straight up as if the light's coming in right from behind her. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. Close that out there. Okay, and there we have it. A really really cool, really neato stage lighting effect created entirely right here in Photoshop. This is the Photoshop Laddie. Cheerio!